So I hate that I have to start yet another vlog explaining where I've been. I went to Brian and Andrew's house to edit the Germany episode and the day before I didn't feel that great. And then the morning after I got there, I felt terrible. I felt terrible all week. We went to film a wedding, still felt terrible. Just got back to my house, Andrew came with me. We're still editing the Germany episode. Today is the first time that I've felt decently enough to do anything, let alone do a vlog. So anyways, here's what's happened. Once you're caught up to speed, I will rejoin you. So I think I've mentioned it already, but I'm shooting a wedding on Saturday with Andrew. So we're gonna edit Germany at his house, and then we're gonna go shoot that wedding. First thing, I need to get all my equipment ready. Okay, I have a new theory on life. Instead of shooting for 100% of your life to be amazing, shoot for about 80%. <laughs> the first 80% of my workout is great. Those last five push-ups, those are the ones that really kill you and you're just like, oh my God, this is so hard. But it's just five push-ups. I don't think I have the percentages right, but if just 20% of your life is bad, that's 80%, that's good, that's not bad, man. For that short time that I was trying to be a basketball player, one of the conclusions that I came to was that the sprints and suicides never end. And what I mean by that is that, say you started out doing 10 wind sprints and 10 suicides. At some point, those will be easy and there'll be no problem, but you always have to keep upping the ante. For example, in real everyday life, you never think about how to walk anymore. That's a challenge that you've already overcome and it's easy. But now you have all these new challenges that you have to rise to the occasion and get better at. And that process of getting better constantly and having new challenges constantly, it will never end. Unless of course you decide to stagnate and never do anything with your life, which I think most of us, whenever we get to that point, we get dissatisfied and we're always looking for something new to challenge us. When we feel that ennui where it's just like, man, I don't know what I'm doing. You move on to something new and it provides new challenges and So my real life example is that I'm never gonna have to stop moving my computer until me or Andrew decides to move, which it seems like neither of us wanna do that. I'm just gonna have to keep moving my computer. And that has gotten easier and it's become routine, but the unpleasantness of it, it's never really gonna go away. It's maybe gonna become 20% unpleasant and then the other 80% will be fine. And you know, life is really just all about maintenance. Like if you wanna have a smooth life, just maintain the things that need maintaining. Don't let things boil over until by the time you actually get around to fixing them, it's beyond fixing. Like these hard drives, for instance. By the way, thank you again, Derek, for this Drobo. I can't tell you how much I have used this and how helpful it's been. I was realizing that I haven't cleaned the dust out of there in a well, since I got it, really. And if I want all of these to be working in tip-top shape, I'm gonna make sure the airflow is nice and good and they're not getting clogged up with a bunch of dust. The alternative, would be to not clean it, let all of the hard drives fail, and then I lose all of the work that I've ever done. That would really suck. I am now en route to Columbus, Ohio. We're gonna edit this episode, and we're gonna try to finish it before we leave on Saturday, but uh, we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I'm stopping at this rest area because I need to rearrange some stuff in my car. But I saw this, how many people have ever read this? Why would they waste any money on this? I mean, the thought is nice, but I actually took my time to go look at it and I still haven't read it. So I doubt anybody but the person who installed it has actually read that. Doing this, adjusting your glasses is about the most I could possibly look like my dad. <laughs> we watched Game of Thrones yesterday. Fantastic. I have to wait a whole nother year for the final season. I'm just like, man, I'm so tired. Man, I don't feel so good.
Andrew and I are in Evansville. We're filming a wedding right now. We've got a Better Call Saul bench right here. <laughs> get some B-roll. The bridesmaids and the bride are inside getting ready. We're gonna go back in and get some more footage in a minute. But right now, get some of these flowers. Doing good work there, Andrew. <laughs> Okay, that should bring us back up to speed. We're still working on the episode. Andrew's writing narration right now. As soon as he finishes, uh, we can finish up the episode. I got kind of a healthy backlog of videos that I need to get done right now. That's not ideal. And then getting sick is not ideal because then I can't do anything, let alone work on vlogs. But provided I can stay healthy for longer than like two weeks at a time, I'll be sitting pretty. <laughs> Uh, oops. Veggie sausage, shirataki noodles. I was wondering what those were. This is noodles made out of mushrooms? Out of tofu. But they have, shirataki is actually like made of a yam. It's like, you know the Japanese stew, how they have those like weird gray things with oh. the speckles? Oh, that's not shiitake. I was thinking of the mushrooms. This is like that, but with tofu. So today in an effort to like, maybe reduce the number of toxic vapors that I inhale every day. I cleaned up my car. I gave it like a thorough deep cleaning where you actually like clean all the junk out of everything. Anyways, right now I'm going to the library to get a book called How Music Works in an effort to make the music that I write better. Let's see if it actually works or if I actually read the book or if the book's any good. So I went through a couple phases of reading. I didn't read pretty much anything except for if it was for school until I graduated college. Then once I graduated college, I read a ton of books. And then for the last two or three years, I haven't read many books. I've read like, I, I can't even remember. But it's been a while since I've read a book that's really captivated me, so I'm hoping that this is one. It looks super interesting. So the book is actually quite good. It's by this dude named David Byrne who is from a band called Talking Heads. which I had never heard of before and I had to look it up, but I'm very entertained so far. It's also really interesting to read. He was talking about how music evolved from the circumstances. So like early music with drums were played in like big outdoor open spaces. So drums were music that fit well. Music in like churches, that was that droning, single note, long note type of thing because the sound quality of the room was such that if you tried to do anything more complicated, it would just get muddy and it wouldn't work. I don't know, he does a much better job explaining it. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's vlog. Let us hope I feel good enough tomorrow to continue on. Um, I'm getting tested for Lyme disease tomorrow because I don't like that I was just bitten by a bunch of ticks and then felt really terrible with no other symptoms but a low grade fever and not feeling good. But anyways, I'm feeling good right now, so let's hope that continues. Go to bed early to keep that up. Uh, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.